If you've owned, once owned, had owned, known somebody who once owned or been remotely interested in owning a Nissan or Datsun from the 1970s, then you know the biggest issue that you have to face in ownership today, it's not the engine, it's the dashboard. If you even just casually follow my builds, you know about my dashboard difficulties. Hey. Damn. I know everybody remembers the story of my original 240Z dashboard, the one that I spent over two weeks and $200 in materials to restore, only for it to crack on me during the first flex during installation. How excited could I have been that those old brittle materials didn't hold up? Luckily, I was able to get bailed out by a company out of Northern California called Vintage Dashes. And the way this works is they send you a brand new skin, a new mold that they have that they're making out of newer, better, more sturdy materials so you don't have to deal with that old brittle dashboard anymore. And the way it works is you take everything from your old dashboard and you basically just swap it onto the new one. You unbolt the skeleton, take out the gauges, and you literally just swap it into the new unit. Put that back in your car and you're good to go. Um, as far as the difficulty level, I think it's something that with attention to detail, a few photos and a few notes, is something that the casual car builder can definitely do. You can take the old dashboard out, then you can definitely get your new one back in. So I would definitely recommend this to anybody who was looking to not run a dash cap, not have to be embarrassed about pulling up and you know having pretty much the Grand Canyon in your dashboard when you're pulling up to car shows. Um, I think this is a great viable and affordable option. I just wanted to kind of provide you guys with an update so that way you know how everything worked out. So I was able to get all my gauges, my skeleton, everything swapped into the new unit that I received from Vintage Dashes and everything lined up great. You have to drill the holes for any cigarette lighter or hazard switch that you're gonna to wanna to use, but it's not very difficult. Even in the mold, it's kinda, of, you know, the outline is there. So if you can just follow what was there and pay attention to everything that you were doing on your old dashboard, if you can pull one out, you can put one in. 